Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another 4K review on some NECA action figures. We have the Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Atomic Breath Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra. If you're trying to get your Godzilla or your NECA figures, you can do so at Megalopolis City of Collectibles, proud sponsor of the Shardmas Prime YouTube channel. You can get your NECA toys figures there. They have all kinds of figures and an awesome rewards points program. Check them out. Link in the description below. And I've had these figures for a while now, and I've been wanting to talk about them for a minute. And man, oh, dude, NECA just does a great job with their Godzilla figures. Anyway, uh, the packaging for all of these have a Velcro, and uh, the little Velcro piece right here where you could see the figure inside if it was there, and you can see a product shot. And it's like that for all of these. By the way, I mean, Godzilla King of the Monsters, I, I gotta rewatch that movie. It's just such a good movie. I love that movie. Movie. Anyway, on the inside, you can see Rodan, and then on the side of the packaging, they all have the same read-up, uh, which says, Following the global success of Godzilla and Kong Skull Island comes the next chapter in Warner Brothers Pictures and Legendary Pictures Cinematic Monsterverse, an epic action figure that pits Godzilla against some of the most popular monsters in pop culture history. That's all one sentence from there. All the way to there. One sentence. Uh, the news story follows the heroic efforts of the cryptozoological uh, agency Monarch as its members face off against a battery of god-sized monsters, including Mighty Godzilla, who collides with Mothra Rodan and his ultimate nemesis, the three-headed King Ghidorah. When these ancient superspecies, though to be mere myths, rise again, they all vie for supremacy, leaving humanity's very existence hanging in the balance. What happened to the King Ghidorah from NECA? I thought we were going to get one of those. Uh, what happened, guys? Because there's just that SH Monster Arts version that I'm not going to get because the tail's still all busted and that was my biggest gripe with the regular version of that figure or that character and yeah so you can see uh there's all three of them it says collect them all and then you get a wingspan 13 inches wide measures 12 inches head to tail and then 12.5 inches wide right there and then images on the top or it's just all godzilla and then on the very bottom hey there's no people responsible for creating the figure usually they have a cast and crew section somewhere on the box where you can see all the people that made these but nope and it says 65 uh, years of Godzilla to uh, 1954 to 2019 but now we're in 2020 and I'm throwing all those boxes over there and we're gonna slowly bring out these figures okay so they're pretty awesome I'm gonna say right off the bat looking pretty sweet uh, you have Godzilla right there actually let's just talk about these you know uh, one by whoa just knocked over Rodan damn it but yeah let's talk about these one by one uh Godzilla right here is mostly a repaint of the last version that we'd gotten of Godzilla from King of the Monsters uh it looks great though I, I gotta say I'm really happy with this I uh, had it right here for a comparison and now it's gone what the hell man I just swore I had it just oh yeah here it is sorry but yeah you can see the two of them right here uh, how this is a repaint, you know, from this is repainted from that. And this is different from the 2014 version. So very pleased with both of these. Got to say, just love the paint apps. Let's just get a closer look at this, man, because it looks freaking sick. Look at that metallic silvery color throughout over here. That looks just awesome as hell. I'm loving that, man. Don't want to, like, bleach out the figure, you know, with the lighting. But jeez, that is awesome. Really love that paint detail. The sculpt is still immaculate. Look at that silver eye right there. Just looking at the top, I love the teal and blue mixed in together. That is great. Oof, yes. It's just a visual delight. As Stanley once said about seeing Spider-Man on the big screen, a visual delight. And I gotta say, this is quite delightful to see this. This is not sculpted on here. This is just like silver and teal painted over right there. But man, it looks so freaking cool. Really happy with that. That is our, yeah, man, our t the tail is very well articulated. The articulation on this guy is the same as the previous version, so I should have a card to the previous version if you want to see a more in-depth, thorough review of this particular piece. But I got to say, this is freaking awesome. God, I love the eyes right there. That is just so dope. And when you open the mouth up, you can see he does have a blue right there on the inside. It's almost like an indigo color. You could really see that right there. That is freaking cool. And he does come with his accessories. So you get the atomic blast effects right here, which look great as well. I love that. It still has a pearlescent sheen to it. Nice looking white and blue. 
really liking that. And then same thing with this, the actual atomic blast itself. So this part goes in the mouth and just jam it right in there and then jam this down here. And then you get some nice, whoa, whoa, that was awful. Sorry, hold on. Take two, everybody. Take two. Yeah, there we go. While he's just leaning on his tail all lazy-like. Come on, Godzilla. You're supposed to be the king of the monsters. Jeez. Come on. Come on, just bend your knee a little bit. I do recommend heating these up with a hair dryer, but I've played around with this guy enough. He's all nice and ready to go. And there you go. That is freaking awesome. Maybe this part should be at the bottom. Yeah. Like where there's kind of like a notch. That looks freaking badass. So you could pose this around however you like. That is just freaking cool as hell. <clears throat> Love that, man. That is so cool. All right, so let's put this aside and bust out the next one. And uh, let's go with Mothra. Uh, yeah. That's my uh, Mothra sound. What did you think? Okay, so first off, we do get a nice looking base. Now, this is like the thinnest. I, I feel like this is the lightest uh, one out of the three of them. However, I still like it. Uh, here's the base. So you can see it came out of the egg right there. Right, or it's shell, whatever it was contained in for a while, for a good long while. You could see a nice silver wash right there, or black wash over silver anyway. Nice metallic green on the side. Nice vibrant blue and white paint right there. I'm liking that. A little bit of gold. Very cool. I like that. And it comes with the plastic stand right here. And we could just scroll on up, and you could see, scroll on up, pan up, and you could see Mothra. Looking great. I like this version of Mothra. I like the role of Mothra in the movie, too. I just gotta say, it's a great movie. I mean, come on. You guys like it? I mean, I really liked it. Come on. Agree with me. We must all agree. We must all like the same shit, or else there will be an imbalance in the universe. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just, you know, I just thought it was really awesome. I just wish you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, that's all. But I love the eyes right there. That is really cool. Love these praying mantis type, you know, um, appendages that we're seeing right here. And, and you know, there's some articulation. You can move the little itty bitty legs forward and back. You know, same thing with the arms. Uh, these ones right here, at the very bottom you can't move, but these ones you can move up and down. And then you have the wings, which look really good. And those have hinges that rotate and bend up and down as well. Of course, the stand right here just plugs into the middle of the figure. So that's nice and easy to do. Uh, the wings do get a little loose, eh, same, but I gotta say the sculpt and detail on these wings, oof, man, really love that. Almost looks all fuzzy and everything too, like a moth. That is sick. Really dig that a lot. Great paint apps, great sculpting right there, man. Yeah, man. So that NECA knows how to do monsters, you know, they, they just have that down. Amongst other things, but jeez, that is freaking badass. Really like it a lot. Again, you get hinges right here on both sets of wings, and you can... Uh, oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I am mistaken. You can't rotate them around. I thought I could, but no, they only hinge up and down, so you can't rotate them. I don't want to encourage you to try that, because you might just break your figure. So, unless you heat it up and you get that going, but I, I just have the wings moving up and down right there, and I'm fine with that. I think this looks dope. I love having it on a stand like this. And then lastly, we have Rodan. Looking so freaking cool. Yeah, Rodan. Uh, I think Rodan was my dad's favorite Godzilla character, you know. Um, man, look at this. My dad really enjoyed this movie too. So, <clears throat> newsflash, my dad is a geek, you know. He loved, um, you know, sh shout out to uh, Alpha Miss, <laughs> what do you call it? Shardimus Alpha is what I call him. But, um, yeah, Godzilla and Star Trek were like his two things that like he really Oh, and Star Wars, of course, but yeah, man, look at these wings. Oh god, I want to like add some flame effects to them and everything. I just love how in the movie you just see like fire just just flying right behind him like you probably put some Tamashi effects right here, get some fire on there. Oh yeah, that's so sick. I love that. Look at all the sculpted detail right here on the back. Let's see if we can get a little closer shot. Man, that looks so sick. Freaking awesome. I love that detail, man. I love the details so much. So freaking cool. Man, great head sculpt right here as well. Kind of tricky to see. Such a small head sculpt, but that looks sick. And then we also get an interchangeable head sculpt with this guy too. So you can swap it out and you can have a screaming Rodan right here as well. And that looks equally badass to me. So I really dig that. Let's see if I can do a little swappage right there. And then... 
And aim for the hole. And then, oh, no, missed it. Oh, that's what she said. All right, so get that. There we go. Yeah, now we have the screaming Rodan. That looks sick too. Freaking awesome. Articulation wise, you can just move the feet forward and back right over here at the hips. It does move in and out, some right there as well. I can do this a little farther away so it's not nauseating. So it moves in and out, forward like that. And then the wings move up and down. You can rotate them forward and back. And then you also get hinges right over here on this side right there. And then the head and neck. So you get neck rotation. Next, the neck can move down and up and the head can move around a little bit and side to side. So some articulation over there, not a whole ton. Uh, I, I gotta say I'm happy with it. Then you get this really cool base with the explosion and everything. That is sick. Great effects right there, especially when you get the light really shining on it. That looks cool. Uh, it doesn't really absorb light too well. Maybe this bottom part does, but because it's mostly painted all the way through. And then I love the detail right here on the rock and everything too. This whole base looks really cool. Really feeling this. Like it, very hollow at the bottom right there. All right, and then you get this stand that you could just port into this explosion right there. And then we can get Rodan sitting on top of this thing. And yeah, that's fairly easy to do. Not too hard at all. Let's see, just go for like under the diaphragm. And that looks very cool to me. Happy with that. That is sick. So let's get these all three side by side. Really, really missing a King Ghidorah. That's my favorite monster, you know, after Godzilla. And there's no King Ghidorah from NECA. Uh, please, NECA, please make one. That would be so sick if they did. Especially, you know, from the disappointment of the SH Monster Arts version. And man, all three of these are sick. Uh, I, I really like all three of them. Uh, if you want to pick them up, uh, you know, I, I, I highly recommend them. But again, maybe not everybody likes them as much as I do or liked the movie as much as I do. So it's on you, man. It depends on how much of a fan you are. They've been out for a while. I remember I did pick up the Rodan figure from Comic Configure Addicts uh, back during... What was it? Oh, I freaking can't even remember the convention, but it was like back that time when we ran into Jason Momoa and he was like, hey! <laughs> and he was doing that for Lord Emmatron because she was dressed up as Wonder Woman, which is like just freaking adorable. But anyway, enough story time. I appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button if you liked this video and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you feel inclined to do so, check me out on Patreon so you could enter giveaways, get exclusive content, and it helps keep this channel alive and running. I if you guys want to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!